video series on the Earth system presented by the German Geological Society, the DGGV. This video collection is aimed at everyone interested in geoscientific topics, especially school teachers and, of course, students. All videos and associated websites with texts, images and templates are available for free use by educational institutions. We hope you enjoy this video series and would be very happy to receive your comments. Hello everyone. I welcome the viewers of our video series on the Earth system. In this first video of this series, I want to start with some general basics. Further videos will build on this and in each following sequence I will focus on a specific topic, sometimes only partial aspects of a topic, explaining in a generally understandable form. You can find an overview of the existing videos on our website for this video series. My name is Martin Meschede. I have been teaching the basics of geology and geodynamics at the University of Greifswald in Germany for more than 20 years and I have been a member of the German Geological Society, the DGGV, for more than 40 years. Currently, until end of 2024, I'm the president of the DGGV. The DGGV is the largest German-speaking association of geologists. The videos of this series are hosted by the DGGV. For everyone who is reviewing these videos, if you have any questions or comments, please use my email address to ask me or give your comments. This video is the very first of a series which I will put together in the near future. This video starts with the structure of the Earth's body and I will initially try to give a feeling for the scale that we are dealing with when we talk about plate tectonics. When we see the Earth in the solar system, or better yet in the Milky Way, it is just a small speck of dust. But for us here on Earth, it is a fairly large sphere with a circumference of more than 40,000 kilometers, which is nearly 25,000 miles. And we first have to grasp the scale of this dimension so that we can actually understand the processes that take place under our feet. Another dimension that has a lot to do with geology, including plate tectonics, is time. Geologists always calculate millions and hundreds of millions of years. For us, these long time periods are extremely difficult to imagine. Okay, but I won't get to this dimension until a later video when I discuss the plate tectonic development of the Earth over time. So far, a short introduction into this new video series of the system Earth. I start with the structure of the Earth body. Everyone has probably eaten a peach and probably cut it open. The nice thing is that with a peach we have a very suitable model for the structure of the Earth's body. It has a firm core, a more or less soft fruit mass, which we can also call a mantle, and a thin outer shell. And we can easily compare all of this with the Earth's body, except that it's all a little bit bigger. Let's compare the Earth and peaches. The peach measures 8 cm in diameter and the peach skin is 1 mm thick, perhaps a little less. And we know that's not a really thick skin. The Earth has a diameter of 12,740 km and we now compare that with a diameter of 8 cm of a peach. The solid skin of the Earth is what we call the lithosphere, meaning everything that is definitely solid on the outside. I will explain this structure in more detail in a later video. This lithosphere is an average roughly estimated to be approximately 100 kilometers thick. 100 kilometers. If we convert that to the size of a peach, which is a simple rule of three calculation, that would correspond to a skin of approximately 0.1 millimeter. That is one tenth of a millimeter. So we see what thin ice we are actually walking on our Earth. I always say 
it's the right on the ball of fire. Okay, what does it actually look like inside the Earth? Here we see a satellite image of the globe. Everyone will certainly recognize South and North America. And then we cut up the Earth body in a similar way as we did it with our peach. We see the individual shells into which the Earth's body is divided. This structure of shells, or as we call them, the spheres, was created through a process that lasted throughout the entire history of the Earth's development and has not yet ended today. The structure only emerged gradually as heavy elements, such as iron or nickel, sank towards the Earth's core, and light elements such as oxygen or silicon pushed outwards towards the Earth's surface. I will explain this topic, how the differentiation into the spheres developed in more detail in a later video. Here I would first like to generally address the, the spheres that we know today. There is a solid inner core of the Earth surrounded by an outer liquid core. A little different than the peach, but that doesn't matter. The model is still useful, especially looking at the thin outer skin. Above the core is the Earth's mantle, which is divided into a lower and an upper mantle. And above that follows the thin outer solid shell of the Earth. Almost everything that is important to us geologists on the Earth's surface actually happens in this thin outer shell. Most processes of plate tectonics take place here in this thin layer. If we look at this figure, in particular at the scale that you see here, what we, then we have a problem. We can't really recognize the area that interests us so much about plate tectonics because it's simply too small, too thin. We don't see the inner structure. The outer shell, which we call the lithosphere and which I will discuss separately in the next video, is just a thin line. But we want to know what it looks like in there. To do this, Let's enlarge this area so we can see it a little bit better. I would like to take a closer look at the outer shell, which is why I left out the Earth's core, but otherwise the proportions in, the, in this figure are left as they are in nature. Again, we can see the very thin outer shell, but even in this representation it is difficult. In fact, it is impossible to recognize the geological relationships. Therefore, we need representations where we enlarge what we want to explain. We cannot recognize it otherwise. That's why I'm changing the size relationship in this illustration. To do this, I also remove the lower mantle and reduce the curvature of the Earth slightly. You will see in the next figure why I'm doing this. It is because I'm exaggerating the illustration so that we can clearly see the structure of the lithosphere. In this figure, for example, we have an exaggeration of more than 10 times. Horizontally, the bar is remaining as before. It is 1000 kilometers long, but vertically, it is now only 100 kilometer, not 1000 kilometer as before. With such an ex exaggerated representation, we can now see the structure of the lithosphere. We recognize the different areas of the continental and oceanic lithosphere. And to make this a little clearer, we also can add a 3D component. Here you can see the South Atlantic and the two adjacent continents of Africa and South America. And with this exaggerated representation, we can also show the spreading zones and trenches more understandably. But with such exaggerated representations, which I will use frequently in this video series, we must always be aware that the lithosphere is only one to two millimeters thick when we draw it in such uh, realistic uh, dim dim dimensions. This diagram, which shows the basic principles of plate tectonics, uses the same exaggerations. Here, too, the lithosphere is much thicker than its horizontal extension. But by this exaggeration, we can represent the plate tectonic relationships in a way that makes them understandable for us. As I said, 
I will use such models frequently in the following videos going into details. Okay, this should be enough for now as a rough overview and introduction into plate tectonics. In the next video, I will have a detailed look at the lithosphere, the outer thin part of the Earth. What exactly is this lithosphere and how is it related to plate tectonics? For now, thank you for listening and I'll be happy if you stick around. I recommend now continuing with the video on the structure of the lithosphere.